Whew. It's uh, snowing outside. Hey everyone, Shane here with ROA Off-Road. Uh, today, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna be doing a campfire rant <laughs> next to a, a fireplace. This, does this count as a campfire? I mean, I'm out camping. I'm in our new uh, pause trailer and uh, I, I have a fire and I'm camping. So, I mean, doesn't that count? I think the only thing I might need is a camping chair. Uh, I, I forgot my camping chair, but I got a, a, a really cool new toilet I could sit on next to the fire. Um, yeah, so I think we're ready. This is official. We have everything in the making, everything part of the, the recipe to make a great campfire rant. So today, I'm gonna be talking about toilets because I think that's a great thing to talk about since I'm sitting on a toilet right now. This toilet is actually called a Cinderella incineration toilet. It's actually from Norway and I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about them. Hopefully this will be educational and a little rant-like. Just to keep in mind, these rants are, I, me I mean them to be kind of like my soapbox slash rant slash educational, inspirational. It's not always just me ranting and complaining about something. It's a little bit of everything. So today I, you know, people come in, I actually tell people quite often, you know, I sell trailers, off-road trailers and campers for a living. And I feel like I'm pretty much like an authority in that marketplace. And I said, if I were to be authority on anything else besides uh, off-road trailers, it would probably be toilets because I deal with a whole lot of toilets. There's half a dozen different toilet options in the world of camping and RVing. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of those toilets because all of the toilets are really, really good and there's a budget for everybody. There's cheap toilets and there's expensive toilets. It's kind of like cars, right? You can get your cheap, you can get a Kia and you can get a Porsche. <laughs> this I'm sitting on right now is probably considered the Porsche of toilets. Just because it's a really, really cool toilet and it does some very, very unique things that no other toilet does in the marketplace. Now we've been working with and dealing with incinerating toilets for going on four or so years. Cinderella out of Norway has been in business. They're going on 26 years of being in business and they truly are the leading incinerating toilet company in the entire world. There's a few out there and we've dealt with some of the, uh, there was a company that's stateside, we dealt with them and honestly just had so many issues and problems and just decided it wasn't worth working with them anymore. The reason why we didn't reach out to Cinderella originally was because, well, you know, they were in, we wanted to focus on a company in the US. Unfortunately, that company wasn't doing good stuff up to our standard. So then we did end up reaching out to Cinderella and we've been now working with them probably going on two years on uh, not with this specific toilet because i gotta tell you this toilet right here is the very first ever in the united states of america and we're one of the first dealers to actually have this toilet the first dealer to have this toilet we are the first um, there are a few dealers nationwide that can install this eventually but we are the first and this is a travel series by cinderella so this is designed for caravans rvs boats they make cinderella toilets that you can get in the u.s for quite some time for cabin use right or uh, off-grid you know or tiny houses uh, a lot of those require a lot of power um, or they're larger but this guy is a little bit just designed you know for the trailer for the camper or the rv or caravan whatever you want to call it super excited about it because essentially what this is is it's designed to hook up to propane and work off of 12 volt batteries, right? So you have a, if you have any type of battery in any type of RV and, and propane, which pretty much every RV has that, you'll be able to operate and have one of these inside your trailer. Now, what does it do? Well, typically the most standard one in America is the black tank and it's just a regular toilet. Yeah, do your duty into it and it fills up a tank, you go and find a place where you can pull out a slinky and hook it to the dump station and you pull a valve and it just gravity drains 
the crap out of your trailer, essentially. It's kind of gross. Uh, it's not that bad, actually. I, I've done that. I've always done that. And it, it's pretty, it's actually pretty easy and simple. Not, not a lot of fail points to ever happen with it either. But still, the, the biggest nuisance of it is just having to find a place to dump it. And a lot of places charge to dump. Uh, you know, some people ha luckily have one at their house and they can just use it and it's easy. But most people aren't fortunate enough to have that. I'm not. I have to go to a dump station when I dump. Uh, the incinerator, you do your stuff in it, urine or number two, and it burns it. The urine will evaporate and the duty will turn to ash. And it's important to note that it is bacteria free ash, which means you can take it out and go put it in the dirt and you can plant a tree on your way out of your camping visit. It's really cool. And Cinderella, one of the things that I'm most excited about Cinderella is they're a mission-driven company. They're, they're not just selling toilets just to make a profit. I mean, and I'm not against that. We have to make money to be able to stay in business, right? But you, you can tell if you go out and do some research on them versus even the other incinerating toilet companies out there. And one of the biggest issues with the other toilets, they're not really designed for travel or um, camping. They're more designed for stationary. Cinderella has created this model and it gone through intensive vibration tests and everything. So it is designed and they've been putting it in caravans in Europe for quite some time now. So now it's just barely getting to the US market. What's really important is these toilets, essentially they're environmentally friendly, right? The ash is totally bacteria free. And also you consume, guess how much water? Zero, zero water. It's really important because the average uh, household of four people in America on average consumes about 118 gallons per week of water to flush the toilet, just the toilet. In an RV, in an off-grid situation, that tends to be one of a huge, huge consumption of water is actually flushing your toilet. You don't flush as much because that doesn't have a tank like a regular residential house, but you do consume a lot of water. With this, zero water consumption whatsoever. Also, you never have to take it to dump it ever again because you're just gonna pull out the ashtray and throw it away. This is definitely one of the most innovative toilets in the world that you can now have today. And I'm super excited because, you know, here at ROA, because we're always working on some of the most innovation stuff, we end up syncing up with other companies that are super, super innovative, that are really bringing stuff to market that nobody else has. And we end up getting access to them before anybody else, which is really, really cool. And we're very grateful for that and super excited about um, bringing this toilet to the US market. The other thing I got to mention, and this is kind of like, you can jump on Cinderella and you can read, you know, they're about us. But like I said, they're very mission driven. And, and they talk about how, you know, they originally started about 26 years ago, just for people to have it in their cabin. You know, that, that convenience of, you know, if you were off grid far away and, and you don't, and you didn't have water to, you didn't have access to regular plumbing or a lot of water, right? This was a huge, huge thing for leisure clients, right? But they, they've really moved into um, this new market where you know they're, they're on this mission to help the world because about 3.6 billion people are without clean water or usable or well-managed toilets. Almost 800, I think it's like 898 million people still defecate in the open, right? Like that's almost a billion people. Uh, the entire United States is like 350 million. Almost a billion people worldwide still don't actually have a toilet. They just go on the ground out in the open. That's that's crazy to think about. Something something like a quarter of a million kids under the age of five die from infectious, w infected water from feces. So the neat thing about this toilet, and this is their mission, is to, they want to by 2030 have these toilets, access to these toilets, to everywhere in the world so that everybody can have access to, you know, a, a clean sanitary toilet and not can't contaminate their water, right? And and this is really, really cool. And, and I'm proud to be able to, at ROA, support a company like this, you know, be able to bring them to market. Obviously, we're doing it in a different case where it's off-road, off-grid trailers, right? but it's going to create more awareness of their brand and their company in America, which I believe will help them fulfill their mission by getting more clean, sanitary toilets to the entire world. They've won accolades 
from all over for their innovation, for their quality, for their customer support. Um, so really, really, really great company. I'm excited to support them. I'm excited to stand behind them. And honestly, like in the world of trailers, there's so much talk about toilets. It's kind of funny. Once you own a trailer, you realize around the campfire you talk about talk about crap all the time and in toilets and dumping them and all that stuff. So they're a green company is what they like to call themselves. And you know, my video guy was saying, I guess they're turning your brown to green, right? So there you go, there you have it. Uh, lots of lots of information about toilets. If you've never heard of these toilets, these incinerator toilets, they're pretty cool. We're gonna be doing some an installation. We're gonna be featuring these. Uh, we're actually working on a winter package on uh, Conquer UEV 19, and we're gonna be installing the incinerator toilet in that because guess what? We don't want the black tank to freeze underneath, so we put this inside and you deal with zero black tank and also you increase your water capacity because or the lack of using water for your toilet. So you end up having more water for your fun and adventures and not flushing down your crap. So there you have it. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, if you have any questions about toilets in general, like I said, we know a lot about toilets uh, and all the toilets out there are pretty, pretty good. This one is really, really cool. And if you have any questions about toilets, you wanna know about more about the toilets, just make some comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and send this to somebody and definitely support this company. They're a great company. So see you soon. Talk to you later, bye-bye.